keep trying to push it like, oh, our relationship's so bad. It's bad marriage. It's bad. It's bad. Look, here we you know are. you're on live, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, oh, here we are. We're so bad. This is bad. Oh, hi, Gil. Gil Hello. Simmons from uh, News Channel 8. Hello, Gil. my friend. Hi. Keep this it. is Bad Marriage for Life. Keep it real, Gil. What's up, Gil? Don't you love Gil Simmons? He's so funny and he's so good at what he does. You're love so good. Gil Such a nice person. Yes, absolutely. Such a nice person. Hello. How are you? Hola. We're running late because uh, Vic had to drop Sasha off somewhere. Yes. Um, how's the weather? You're funny, Gil. You tell me how's the weather. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so Vic had to drop Sasha off at her driving lesson. I, I announced on the radio today, I tried to warn everybody to stay off the road starting at 630 Anywhere, anywhere in the 860 vicinity. <laughs> she was hyperventilating. Himself, you From know? The, for the driving lesson? Yeah, she was hyperventilating. Wow. I'm, tired. I'm surprised by that. Yeah, she was. She seems she, excited to like, like... Oh my God, what if the girl is mean? Um, what, what, what if she doesn't like me? I was like, this is not the test. I was like, this is her trying to teach you. And so, you know, to make sure right, that you yeah. job. I was, like, I was like, she's getting paid. Yeah, but like, said, okay, so Sasha told us last night that one of her friends, when they, she was taking driving lessons... They were asking about her, like, religious beliefs and stuff, which is kind of weird. Like, if you're taking a driving lesson from somebody, why is the person asking, like, your religious beliefs? Oh. That's weird. I'm yeah. sorry. Like, oh. that's a little too deep. What's up? What's a little up? crazy. Well, I think she put together a list of questions and things that she doesn't want to be asked and stuff. From person. Are you being funny? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. I was going to say, wow. <laughs> Knowing our daughter, though, she probably did. Knowing. Mm-hmm. So, um, this is Bad Marriage for Life. And yes. what are we on? Episode 5? I don't know what episode we're on. I think on. it's we episode five. One, episode five or six. You know? Well, we actually did two episodes in one week because we got into a fight. Yes, we did. And yes. we had to come back and, like, talk about the fight. Yeah, we had to talk It was about- like the reunion show on, like, one of these reality shows. Yes. <laughs> we had to talk about the fight. Oh, yeah, we had to do it in slow motion. Yeah. And so, you know. So, yeah. That's it. But, yeah, we're just chilling. On some, this is uh, Labor Day weekend. Like, yeah. Officially, like, the last weekend of the summer of the summer of, so sad you know, you know. went by way too fast that's it. <laughs> normally they say oh oh i was i'm sorry i don't want to cut you off because <laughs> i know that's a big theme in the family i can't I'm, i cut you off too much yeah I'm so sorry. go ahead finish your thought i'm no, very no, sorry go ahead. Already, no it's okay it's all right you've already cut me off and i've already lost it <laughs> all right <laughs> um so vic just said to me a second ago what did you say to me i don't remember oh i'm pmsing oh <laughs> he like he always feels like the need to tell me my schedule my my schedule because i know it this is you're in like the early stages right? i'm in the early stages right now yes i know what it is how I do know, you know i know because first of all you called me about eight times today between the but yes and said between I call you the, eight times yes she did between the hours of uh, 8 30 and 20, i looked at my phone and stuff i you know, said between the hours of 8 30 i call uh, 12, okay and 12 and 1 30 Yourself, you called me eight times. The first time you called me, though, was to just tell me, "Oh, was this something you <laughs> spilt on the on on the um right on the, on the refrigerator?" Right. It wasn't spilled. Yeah. It was smeared all over the handles of the refrigerator. Something red. Right. It looked exactly. disgusting. It looked right. like either tomato sauce or ketchup. This is like seven o'clock in the morning. Right. I had left to go take my daughter somewhere. Okay, this morning and bring her back. This is early, early, early. I get back and he leaves for work. Like, all right, bye. And there's something red all over my refrigerator. Right. Mm-hmm. So it looked like friggin' red rum. So you, you that means murder backwards, by the way. Yeah. So yeah. you proceeded. You proceeded to feel like it was necessary to call me at work to ask me about whatever it was red on the refrigerator instead of just wiping it up. Because the reason being is because he points out every time I don't put the Tupperware lids on the Tupperware correctly in the cabinet. And then the other day when I told him after he keeps picking on me about it, I said, I can't wait one day to get my own place. He goes, oh, yeah, you just want your own place so it could be a mess. It's going to be disorganized, a disaster. That's what he said. First of all, I don't even talk like that. That's what you said. That's, that's how I heard you. Yeah, that's, that, that's a lot. That, you put a lot of hyperactivity into that. That's and, what you sounded like. But, it's going to be a disaster. But, but, it's going to be disorganized. Oh, God. Disorganized in the refrigerator. <laughs> Everything's going to be a mess because yeah. you can't organize anything. Because yeah. I am the type of person that we need pr- We need prayer. We do, Gil. Sorry. We do need to pray. I'm sorry. Um, but with, you know, me, I'm the type of person that I go to the grocery store. He hates me. Yeah. He's like, Leave the groceries out. I'm going to put them away because if I put them away, I just put them in the refrigerator. Like, you there's can't no. Nothing. 
<laughs> and you can't see nothing. And then you wind up, and then you wind up um, saying, then you wind up saying, oh, we're out of this, or we're out of that. I do do and that. Like, then I double buy. I'm like, it's right in the back and stuff, you know. But yeah. if you can't, you, because you can't see it. But then him, on the other hand, he has a whole list of stuff that we have in the house versus what we need. Yes. So he's got like a whole. What is it called? I got a spreadsheet. He's got a spreadsheet. <laughs> he has a spreadsheet of our groceries <laughs> and 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 like that's crazy. Who has a spreadsheet of their groceries in the house? We got a lot of people to feed in here. What's I that? tell him, I say, hey, I think we're down to our last laundry detergent. He goes, I know. Yeah. I already that. know. I already <laughs> ordered it because his spreadsheet. He's got a spreadsheet. He's so crazy, I like it, he's I, nuts. I, I take no. I take a weekly inventory. So it takes a weekly inventory of groceries <laughs> at our house. Does that sound sane? That sounds crazy, right? That's nuts. We got a lot. We got a lot of kids, a lot of people in this house. We, you know, you got to stick to a budget here and stuff. You know what I mean? There's a lot. There's a lot. A lot of money going out and stuff. You know, so we got to make sure. You know, if if we need it, we need it. If we don't, we don't and stuff. You know? So loving Char said, you need to take inventory. Shop smart. Hallelujah. That's it's crazy. Like that. Absol absolutely. Loving it's Shar. Like, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. No, that's what you got to do. It's nuts. You know, especially after, especially when March hit. Okay, you know. so he was so crazy during the, the friggin' shut-in, the pan, like the quarantine. He was nuts. Like, if I was like, hey, why don't we have this tonight instead of that? He'd be like, we're having what's upstairs in the, in the freezer. We are not touching what's in the deep freezer. I had that packed a certain way, and I would appreciate if no one touched it. Crazy. Crazy. Because I'm, I'm the one paying for it. Oh! oh Shop, I'm shopping for it. Because you're paying for it. I'm I'm cooking it. <laughs> you know? Right, yeah. So, so I'm... Hey! Right. So I got a system. But did you not eat well? We ate well. That's Absolutely. why I'm so fat right there now. Was I gotta no, get... I gotta there was no... There was no... Work out. And stuff, you know? Yeah. But now you just... It's just... I mean, and people who cook a lot or whatever and stuff, you know, they can... You know, they can attest to this. You know, you want in the kitchen, especially, you got to have things a certain way. So going back to the whole Tupperware thing and you know, stuff, you know, when you look in the in the cabinet, you don't want to spend time trying to find the goddamn top. Excuse me, find, trying to find the damn top, you know, why you trying why you trying to cook that take that wastes time. OK, and so that, Linda Reynolds is over the other day. OK, yeah. and now he's got her in on the conversation about the Tupperwares. So Linda, because she's too like with the crazy organization linda's like you have to put the top on the tupperware jenny like what are you doing <laughs> bye gail yeah. see you in the morning yeah, that's it. i mean yeah. i'm not gonna see you in the morning but i'll see you on the tv in the morning <laughs> gail i'll see you in the morning <laughs> um Gail's coming over for Gail simmons yes yeah, yeah, um like but yeah linda reynolds the same way and then linda proceeded to tell everybody like in my family that i used to throw out tupperwares at work yeah. And that she would catch me, and that's yeah. a waste, and I shouldn't have done that. Yes, and yeah, so that's it. That's why we were always missing them. Yeah, you know, and always purchasing. So, but Jenny, you know, you got to keep the kitchen in a certain way. You know, Jenny, you know, she she cleans a lot and stuff. I'll give that. I to clean her. constantly because we had a cleaning. She, she we had someone that was coming in to clean last year, and he he told me we couldn't, we can't afford her anymore. And he says to me. You had her come every single week, Jenny. Do you realize how much money you spent a month? And I was like, yeah, but I was just loving it. Because yeah. I would come home and the house would be clean. And like it's, it would smell good. She would, put, she would spray something that smelled so good. I felt so happy. But every time I was in my house. And then he was like, yo, we're spending so much money on this person. So I had to cut her out. Yeah, because my philosophy is we got four kids in here. Right. No, I mean, you were right. Back and clean. And stuff, you know, you assign them each a duty and uh, 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 each a section. You know, yeah, granted, it's never easy because every time you ask them to do something, it's always some type of damn It's back always. Talk. So some damn back type of Even the talk. older ones. In the time you know, that you've argued with me on doing what I asked you to do, you could have been done it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, you could have already been done. Yes. You're sitting here arguing with me for 20 minutes to ask you to sweep the kitchen. Why are you arguing with me? Just do it. It's, uh, it'll be over. Or unload the dishwasher. Or unload, unload the dishwasher. That's Max's dishwasher. job now. He always yeah. unloads or the dishwasher. Unload the dishwasher. You know, it's like just home. load the dishwasher. Or put in a load of towels. Put in a load of towels. <laughs> You're using them, right? <laughs> You're using the towels. Put in a load of towels. <laughs> you know, they, act like, they act like you asking for blood. Really? <laughs> it's crazy. I don't get it. 
Let's see that. Or put stuff back. Um, the great one, seventy nine. Am I am I managing any artists? No, I don't. I don't really get involved in that. That's a lot of work managing an artist. We're managing children. We're managing children. They're in our, very entertaining and paying, trying to pay some bills over here. That's pretty much what's going on at this point. So yes, yeah. That's it. Oh, so um, me and okay. So wait, what do you want to talk about next? Anything? Do whatever. I'm here. Okay. So the other day, Sasha freaks this out. I want. I want. I'm going to grab it really quick. Okay. That's our daughter. She's 17. Okay. So she breaks this out the other day. This this poem. She goes, "Mommy, I found this poem that I like in this book." <laughs> Vic already knows this story. It's it's called Milk and Honey, the book. Which, by the way, did you buy this for her? Yes. I there did. is a lot of like sex stuff in here. I was looking through it earlier. Oh, no, wait. I don't know if I bought that, though. There's a lot. Um, anyway. So, but she's about to be a grown-up. So, okay. Um, yeah, Premium 21 said, what do you be drinking? I don't know what I'm drinking. Oh, Bougal. Oh, Bougal. Dominican rum. It's our favorite. Okay. Ginger ale, right? Or Appleton. It's go good. And with ginger ale. Yeah, it's perfect. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. And you notice that, too, right? What is today? Thursday? Are we drinking during the week now? I'm off the one. You are? Yeah. How are you off work tomorrow? Because I'm off. Oh, okay. Because I'm off. <laughs> All right. So this is what Sasha brings out. So the other morning, I'm in the the kitchen, and she goes, "Mommy, I found this poem." And she goes, "I really want to read it to you. I think it's about you and Dad." So I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> like, what am I like? What am I about to get? So this is what she read. Neither of us is happy, mm. but neither of us wants to leave. Mm. So we keep breaking one another. Mm. And calling it love. Wow. That was deep. That's what she, she read. Hi, Max. So she read this poem to me. And um, I go, do you... I'm sorry, Max? The front door is open? Yeah. Oh, close okay. It. Go close it. Okay. All right. All right. So anyway, that's another thing. Like, he could have just gone and shut it, but he came here to tell us so we could go shut it. But anyway, okay. So this is what she read, that that's the poem. And I was like, Sasha, do you really think that that's about me and your dad? And she goes, well, yeah. She goes, do you guys love each other? Mm. That's deep when your child has to ask that question. That's horrible. Yes. That's how, and uh, so. I think it's this show. This, <laughs> it's, it's a bad marriage for life the show. show. The, the show is the, the looking for poetry. The show is got looking for poetry. Like She's I, like, what could describe my parents' <laughs> awful relationship right now? <laughs> Yeah, you're ruining the children with this show. Jane. I'm ruining the children. Yeah, the show. I thought you said. She, I thought you said she wrote the poem. I no, she no, she it. no, she read it. She oh, read it. That's right. That's right. If she wrote it, that would have been worse. <laughs> so anyway, she believes that that's what our relationship is. And I said to her, I go, you know what, Sasha? She goes, do you guys love each other? I go, of course we love each other. You know, yeah. we we and your dad love each other. We love right. each other. And and she goes, yeah, but you guys don't seem like you really like want to be together. <laughs> And I said, okay, but this is the thing. Like, as relationships go on, and me and Vic have been together now, how long? I think we decided it was 18 years, right? 18 years. 18 years he's been hitting these skins. Um, From the front to the back. You've <laughs> been hitting these skins. Drop down, jiggle it. Yeah. Um, I said, as time goes on, like, relationships evolve, right? So it's not where, so when you first meet somebody, you get really excited and you get like, um, I used to call it like Zaza Zoo. I think the that's Zaza from Sex Zaza in the Zoo. City. Where you would get like a, like you're excited because you're going to see the person and be around the person. And then it turns into like lust after a while. Like, right. You're like really, you're like lustful towards the person. Like when you're first together, you probably have like a ton of sex and whatever. What are you trying to say? You're not lustful towards me anymore? Not really, though. Oh no. So, <laughs> just, not really. Once oh my, in a while. Oh my god! And so, I, I, I'm lusting for you every day. You are not lust. <laughs> you are literally snoring by ten o'clock <laughs> every night. Like you're not <laughs> lusting for me, okay? <laughs> I danced naked for him in the kitchen last night, and he literally looked at me and turned back around, like, "Yeah, so I'm gonna finish dinner." I'm like, "All right." Um, <laughs> I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You were not. No, st- yeah. I said we're out of white rice. I got brown rice. <laughs> That's what she said. That's right. So anyway, I explained. I was thinking about spreading the brown rice all over your body. My body? Over your body. Where'd you get that body? Um, so anyway, I explained her. I go, as time goes on, you build more of a friendship in a relationship. It's not what it was in the beginning. And you rely on each other in this friendship. Like, I told her, I go, I can tell your father anything. He's my absolute best friend. When something happens, I call him first. When I'm crying and upset because somebody hurt my feelings or... 
I'm, I'm going through it. He's the person I sit and talk to, right? So that's love. Yeah, so sure. just, so sure. just what? Yeah. So just because we're not all over each other or, you know, we don't always get along because me and Vic really don't always get along. Mm-hmm. Um, that doesn't mean we don't love each other and have like a common respect for each other. And I think over the years I've grown because for I think for a while we didn't really particularly like each other and didn't want to be together. But I think as time has gone back on now, our relationships evolved again mm-hmm. and, you know, we're working as a team. Absolutely. Yeah. Up, you know, I mean, I think we've always worked as a team as far as the kids are concerned. You know, um, but no, I mean the, us. You know, yeah, but as far as the relationship is uh, concerned, yeah, you know, certain outside factors, you, you know, sometimes come in, and certain things, um, as far as in the house, the stress or whatever and stuff, yeah. come in, come into play. So you know, so yes, yeah, do the kids sometimes see us being up, being upset, upset about, upset about things, or even things from work or whatever and stuff, you know, um, you or know, money, or money, or money is a big, like that. You know, a we big might one. not agree. And yeah, stuff, you know, so all of that because I like to spend. All, yes, absolutely. Vic's like, that's why we get debt. <laughs> <laughs> Vic's like, that's why we'll yeah, never retire. You know, because again, I was raised minimum and stuff, you know, so yeah. I, I can I can survive on minimum. And, stuff. and me, and, I was raised yeah. like you charge stuff up and then you try to figure it out later on, no, and that's kind of like so, how I've lived my life, and now I'm paying for it. You know, and, so, you know? and the kids always laugh because I always they every time they ask me something, I'm like, you know, my first response is it's not in the budget. And so yeah, he <laughs> always says no to the kids, and then I figure it. I try to figure it. <laughs> out and i'm like okay let me call my credit card and see what's on there and maybe there's this much on there and you know you know oh back to that so i mean back to the you know the back to that so she you know sometimes she you know she maybe they might she might not think she thinks that it's all romeo and juliet well that's not a bad example because they you know yeah they died, died didn't they, they died, died or whatever yeah. stuff you know but um <laughs> you know yeah she expects it to be all lovey-dovey like on tv oh sometimes she sees like her maybe her friend's parents that are like that and it's because they're on their second marriage and people in their second marriages or third marriages no it's, always cause no, it's true marriage. because it's a newer it's marriage a, no it's not always it's i feel like people in their second and third marriages are happier no nah, i wouldn't say that. i think we should just break up and each yeah, marry someone rich well i mean if we break up i'm not i'm good and so you know i'm just gonna get an rv and just you know tour the country <laughs> and you're gonna like you're done yeah i'm done i just know the, I'm you don't want to marry somebody and like she could take care of you maybe you could find somebody that could cook and like clean and organize like you like or rub your feet all the things you want me to be like no nah, i'm okay and stuff, you know like i said but then you gotta have like more conversations and stuff you know and but you maybe gotta... she'll have no conversation maybe she'll just be happy that you're just such a great person and and she won't like Nah. Oh my god, the worst thing with me and Vic, okay, and I stopped doing this a while back because it just is not effective, is when we would, like, I wanted to talk about something, I would stand in front of the TV, and, like, he'd be on the couch, and I would stand over him with my hands on my hips. <laughs> and block the TV. Uh, when did you stop doing that? I do, I haven't done that recently. You just did it two days ago. What'd I do? You came in and stood in front of the TV <laughs> to tell me something. <laughs> In the middle, I think I was watching the game. Oh, no, I think you were on my nerves, so I just stood there purposely. No, that's not bad. All right, so DJ, is it D, oh, DJ C Wiz one said, Jenny, would you do it again? Would you do it again? Meaning, I, uh, what, would I do what again? Would you start this relationship with me again? That's what he's trying to say. Well, I mean, okay, so this is where you have to say this, okay? Um, I have two good, like, great kids by Vic, right? I love my kids. And he helped raise my other three right so and he was like damn good dad for having no children and coming into the situation and took care of the kids like i'm telling you when i say he's never been a part-time father not one time so it's like when i was um working earlier in the day like i used to work the midday on the radio station i don't know if you know that but he would be the one that would go to the school he knew all the parents he was at everything that the kids were in during the day like i'm talking about my older kids and then as time has gone on even with sasha and max you know they're a little bit younger he he's the type of dad that's at the practices he's at every game like he's a great father so i have to say if i was going to pick somebody to be my partner you know, in this situation, I would always pick Vic because he's that good of a father. You know, he cooks, he takes care of the, he takes care of the kids. You know, I mean, he has a good job, a career. Don't get me wrong. He's not home yeah, all day. I'm not, yeah, I'm not a stay home dad. No. And so I just, I'm just a master at multitasking. He, yeah. I always so, have them. Yeah. Okay. Hold on a second. My son has something to say. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's the second day of online learning. 
Uh, Kay Martinez said, hey, Jenny, my hubby wants to try and do the waxing thing. Thanks to you. It's in the it's in the back of the, it's in the back of in the case on the computer. Did Oh. Oh, I'll get that later. It's like I five minutes left, so I just get. All right. Well, let's. Yeah. You know what, Max? We're out here right now. <laughs> <laughs> he can't find his charger for his. Thank God we're not on network TV. He can't TV. find his charger for his computer. Okay. So <laughs> Kay Martinez said her hubby wants to try waxing oh. because of you. <laughs> Listen, just make sure you have a drink before. Don't go cold turkey. Yeah, he was he was pretty. But we no, were, I wasn't. You were a little tipsy. No, I wasn't. They sprung I, it on you like at nine o'clock at night. Yeah, you sprung it on me when I was relaxing. About yeah. to, I hadn't even gotten to that point yet and stuff. You know. Yeah. No, I had no, I hadn't gotten okay, there yet. Okay, okay, so, but gone. I. I suggest like I hadn't you do. Yet. Okay. And stuff, because yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I haven't been sleeping well ever since. Okay. Well, tell your husband <laughs> that to make sure if you're gonna do the waxing, like blow on it, blow on the wax. Like blow this is like so important. If he scoops up the wax and puts it on a little stick, to blow on it before he puts it on your vagina or wherever you're gonna do it, because he burnt the hell out of me like twice, and yes. I kept having to remind him, like, can you please just blow on it? But I think he secretly wants to see me in pain and wants me to like <laughs> suffer. So I did get like second degree burns on my crotch. I was trying to see if it was going to turn you on. If you were going to like have an orgasm or something. Ah. Do you see what I'm dealing with here? Do the fire. It's like that meme where they said, they said, Melania, blink twice if you need help. <laughs> Come save me, please. Yeah, so, but we didn't even finish that yet. Yes. I mean, we did it. There was a, we did half. Yes, there was a whole. There was a whole. Only half is done. Not like half one side, like the top to the to towards the bottom. Yes. So and had, around the edges, around we the went edges. We did a whole bag because it was like a whole Chewbacca situation going on over there and stuff. So we. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. So you know. That's we gotta true. Come, we got to come back. And, stuff, and I know? told him, I said, yeah. "What are you going to do when you have to do my butthole? Because that, that's part of it." Like, I do the full Brazilian. I'm not a bikini wax girl. Uh, no, I'm going to have a therapist on standby. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got to do it all. It's all got to be gone. So, maybe this weekend for Labor Day. Uh, that's it. Let's right, celebrate guys, Labor Day uh, weekend in, that way. In the summer. In the summer. Yeah, in the summer. <laughs> Even all summer long, I've been like Chewbacca. Maybe we can put it on the live. That's it. We can put it on the live. The waxing. Is We're going to do an IG <laughs> live with the waxing. The waxing. With the waxing. That's it. And people, and people, just call in and share your waxing pictures Stories. Too. Show. Yeah, no, show your waxing too. And so, you know what? In. No, honestly, though, I really think that we should finish it. I do. Okay. And so, I, I agree. Okay. You know, because it has to grow a certain amount for you to pull it out. You know what I'm saying? You can't cut it or be, it can't be low. And I kind of, like, I'm getting tired of it now. So I want to, you know, I want to cut it. Yes. So let, let's just pull it. And I actually pulled the wax off myself a couple of times. All the times. It was very interesting. You know? That doesn't bother me because I've been getting it done so long. You know, well, you got to do what you got to do. I mean, next thing you know, you, you know, I'll be doing your hair. Well, so. I cut my bangs for a while, but you my know? kids, like, stop cutting your bangs. You look crazy, Mom. But I actually called for an appointment, to, like, two days ago, and no one's gotten back to me yet. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So we're going back to the address. I don't know. Maybe. Why you don't think I should? I think you should do whatever makes you feel comfortable and whatever you're doing. I just had this whole, like, weird, like, man bun in back or something because I'm like, I, I think don't it's know. beautiful. Oh, thank you. But it's like, I need to cut, like, have it cut, cut like a bob or something. Like, it's got to be put into, like, a hairstyle now. I know. I mean, I feel for you. You know, I feel for women. I just want my hair to, like, look halfway decent. Like, I don't get my nails done. I haven't been doing any of that yeah. stuff. But, and the waxing, I feel like we have it under control. Yes. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a lot. I've always felt, you know, I've always felt, again, women, I, I feel for you. Again, I was raised by women, so I understand, you know, the, the stuff that you have to do in order to maintain. Or just to it, feel good. Yes, you, you know, know, and, and I, I'm glad I don't have to and stuff, you know, because I'm bald-headed, you know, so I just shave and I keep it going or whatever and stuff, you know. But, you know, the, the things that it takes from... From the nails to the waxing to the hair to just everything that you have everything that you have to deal with as 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 females you know or, you know on a daily basis you know the strength that you have just to get through it and stuff and handle it all i couldn't do it so i commend you the the thing that i don't miss though with this whole and thank you dj c was one thank you for the compliment um and Kay Mart Martinez, CT, you are right. Men do have it very easy compared to us. Yeah. Um, but the thing I don't miss is the money I was spending 
I'm not gonna lie. I was like getting my hair done like every six to eight weeks, right? Then I was getting my nails done like every two to three weeks to make sure to stay on that. I was dyeing my eyebrows because you'll see old, older pictures of me or whatever. My eyebrows are brown. This is my actual natural color eyebrow because I'm blonde haired. Um, and, and I was doing, you know, the threading, the waxing. Like I was spending a ton of freaking money. Like a lot of money to just try to keep up with it, like with up with everything. So the thing that's been good is that I haven't had to, you know, spend money on all of that stuff right now because we're in a pandemic. We're in a and pandemic, we're and good. we're trying to keep our bread as much as we possibly can. Yes. Um, hi, Luke. How are you? Uh, Luke uh, said hello to us. So hi, Luke. Luke, it's, what up? It's nice to see you or I hear like from you. Luke. Yeah. So. Um, Luke, I hope everything's well out there in California for you. Because mm -hmm. um, I know there were the wildfires and stuff are going on. So I, I hope you're doing well. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So we've been venturing that way. And we still haven't had our date. Because we're thinking about we wanted to have a date before the end of the summer. But we just, we, I don't know if we're going to have one. So We'll have one. We're, we'll have to Labor Day. Where are we going to go? I don't know. It's up to you. We'll figure it out. I you mean, know? if anybody has any suggestions, let us know. I know that Michi said he went to um, Wooden Tap in Farmington one day. And it was like... Um, nice. It wasn't too crowded. He went during the day, though. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But, um, you know, yeah. somewhere outside that we can feel comfortable. Yeah. I like to get my drink on somewhere with good drinks. Yes, we just got to get the kids permission in South in order to, you know. Oh, my go gosh. <laughs> you have no idea. Like, what goes on? <laughs> we, gotta, we, we have to get the okay from the children for, us to, to, uh, for us to be alone for a little while. It's, <laughs> yeah, like, we have to apologize. <laughs> yeah, like, Sasha, she was, like, pissed, she's pissed off about this, sh this, sh this show anyway. Inside, yeah. Because, uh, <laughs> oh, like, we're taking up her time. <laughs> Every time. She always wants to do something Thursday nights. And I'm like, Sasha, me and Daddy are going to do the show. And she's like, that stupid show. <laughs> that show is always more important than me. I'm like, oh, oh DJ C Wiz once said Wooden Tap had crazy bugs yeah, outside. Oh, oh, well, that's why I wear skin so soft. Yeah, and stuff, you know. The two <laughs> things Vic always keeps on hand is skin so soft and cocoa butter. Yes, <laughs> those two things can solve anything. Hi, Jack Thriller, how are you? I miss you. I haven't seen you in a long time. Man, I miss I miss going to New York and seeing everybody. No. Um, but yeah, so uh, maybe we won't go to. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. We'll see what happens. Well, mosquitoes are starting to die down now. Yeah. You know. Oh my god! In our yard, we literally spray our yard all the time, and it's all, like they come. They they come for me. Okay. They come for me all the time. It's just awful. The, the mosquito. The, the, it's, a, it's a real problem this year, don't you think? Yeah. It, it, it has. This year has been worse than than years before. Yeah. You know. Um, I forgot what they said. Why. And stuff, you know. I think because the heat and the the moisture. That sounds. I don't know. Whatever. Sounds like and a yeast infection. Yeah. Heat and moisture. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> we should just throw yogurt all over the. No world. moisture. No, well, monistat. <laughs> yeah, no, no monistat. Monistat. Spray yogurt monistat. A yogurt. Get you, come get you. Yeah, oh, how about the guy came today to spray for the mosquitoes? <laughs> and I'm like, in I'm in the kitchen and I'm looking out the window like, and I don't want to let the dog out because he's supposedly spraying all this poisonous stuff over the yard. But why he ain't got no mask on? No. I'm like, if you, how, how are you spraying toxic stuff that's gonna kill these mosquitoes? You have no mask on. Like you have no like I. If you're coming to spray for the mosquitoes, I would prefer you wear. A hazmat suit. It's that strong. He's immune to it. Is that I don't know. It's like he had nothing on. Like, no protection. I'm like, are you sure? And Sasha's like, maybe he's just spraying water. I said, he's probably just spraying water. Uh, nah, they were immune. paying $100 each time. Yeah, he's immune to it. Some people, they... You he's know. breathing in. <laughs> yeah. It was just weird. That's that's yeah. weird to me. You know, it's like, because we have to do uh, Luke said, I'm doing well and staying safe. I went back to work after a five-month hiatus, enjoying the new job and happy with things. Good. That's good. Good, good, good for you, Luke. Yeah. You followed your dream. And you yeah. went to the West Coast, and I'm proud of you. And that's just amazing. Absolutely. Um, Wall Street, Dame. Hi, how are you there, sir? I haven't, I haven't talked to you in quite a long time. It's nice to see you. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much what's been going on with us. We're going to try to do our date. And... Yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna do our date. Before. We're gonna do our date, and when's the, when's the officially the last day of summer? No, I don't know. Oh, it's only in September. It's only in so, September. You know, I mean, it's Labor Day weekend. You know, it's crazy. Remember, in years past, like, oh, don't wear. Don't and wear. then, and then, what do we do when it gets to be fall? Do we still see people? I don't know. I don't either. I don't know. We're we here. didn't let our daughter stay here last weekend because she's living in New Jersey, <laughs> and she's been hanging out with her friends. And I'm like, no. 
<laughs> she came here and she went to go see with some other friends that trust her. Yeah. Now we're beefing. No. We're okay, we're okay. She tried to bribe us. With she tried to bribe us with sushi because we hadn't had sushi in so hey, long. Hey, Jenny. Hi, David. How you doing? Good. How are Good. you? I'm all right. What's happening? Enjoying the weather? Uh, well, we're outside. I mean, these mosquitoes are going to come for me even though they just sprayed me. <laughs> That's fake spray. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm enjoying being outside. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. So where are you from? New Haven. New Haven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've even been in New Haven for such a long time. Yeah, oh. Who is that? Who that? That's Vic. Oh, okay. That's my that's my um my sex partner. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> On Thursdays. Instead, sex like partner. Yeah. Thursdays at Thursdays at nine. Thursdays at nine. After the show's right over, after, we right go. After, we right each shower and brush our teeth, and yeah, then we go have sex. Yeah, we gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only missionary, though. Only missionary. I don't like to put too much work in. Yeah, he's line. always like, he, so if what he's into, he's always like, "Oh, you want to get work?" <laughs> <laughs> it's not a lot of work. Like you have to really have like, really good leg muscles to get on top. I'm like, I'm good. I'm just gonna lay down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could get about twenty pumps out of it. The kids started school yet? Yes, they started yesterday. They're they're staying home, but um, it's uh, you know, it's I, I don't know if it, we picked the right thing to do. We we picked what we could do, and I think it's a right, thing. yeah, right it's like I just I don't know. Max today had like a weird break for like an hour while at school. Mm -hmm. I caught him playing Fortnite. Like, what are you doing? Like, aren't you supposed to be in school right now? So, yeah, he's my kids started today, and already their laptop didn't work. They oh, wasn't able to log on or anything. Oh, that's awful. That's awful. Mm -hmm. About that. Yeah, well, they'll get Well, are they going to let them go in school or is it going to stay at home the whole year? Well, it all depends on your on your, on your, on your, your school district. Your, yeah. Your I mean, like where we live, they're doing, um, they're doing the, you know, either online learning or you go in and you go every other week. But we just, oh, okay. just kept them home because we were like, we just wanted to kind of like sit back and watch and see what happens. Right. Mm. You know? They were scared to send them. But, like, you know, I mean, of course, that's the same vaccine. I'm sitting back and watching. Right. Okay. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not getting in line for that vaccine, are you? No, no okay. No, not, you know, not yet. Not not right away. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what. Now, how old are your kids? What grade are they in? Um, my 15-year-old, here in high school, and the 11-year-old um, and my 6-year-old, they in middle school, elementary middle school. Yeah, so I so they're staying home right now. I'm home. Yeah, they're home. Yeah, they staying home. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was a tough decision because you want your kids to go in and social right. be there, but it's like, well, dang, what's about to happen? And a lot of parents keep saying that. Um, a lot of pe parents keep saying, you know, we're probably all member anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Me at all. I don't. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think it's safe because first of all, the kids ain't gonna want to keep the mask on their face all day. And it's just, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You know, the, the They're going to be irritated really quick. Yeah. yeah. Teachers, and, and never mind the teacher, the teacher's probably going to be irritated too. Yeah. Well, like, the, it's not like, it's not, I don't think it's going to be a good thing. Right. Like, it's awful. It's, it's just a real hard situation for, and a lot of folks can't keep their kids at home. You know, they just, right. we have that option. You know, because of our schedules, and we have older kids that can care. Of kids. So, yeah. um, you know that's why. But if if I have to buy the houses, I'm like, I want to afford that. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's scary. it's a scary situation, and it's hard for a lot of families. And I hope it, it is works. definitely scary. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm I hope everything works out for you with the online. I hope check back in with us next week and let us know if like everything's working and, and whatever. That's a mm -hmm. real problem that they couldn't even get out there today. You know. Yeah, they can't. They ain't gonna be able to get on tomorrow either. That's awful. So they're missing two days already. Yeah, awful. Well, mm -hmm. I'm so sorry to hear that. But you have a blessed night. You too. Go have a glass of wine. All right. Yeah, I me. Mean, I'm gonna have a glass of wine too. Good night. Actually, See yeah. you later, sir. All right. Bye. All right. Um. So. So anyway. <laughs> Um, Plum Plum 333 three, three saying, uh, facts, I can get on top and work my muscles so he can be done quick so I can lay down. 
<laughs> See, that's the problem, Plum Plum. <laughs> I ain't got no muscles at this point. Yo, Vic said to, like a couple weeks ago, he, you know what he said to me? He goes, your legs look like smoked ham hocks. Oh, you did wrong. say that. <laughs> he said that. And I'm like, and so then, like, I didn't really, like, think about it at first. I was like, yeah, whatever, he's joking. And then I told my friends that he said that, and all my girls were like, what? <laughs> what did he say? Uh, that was just that They was, were ready to jump him. Yeah, that was just jokes. Because <laughs> I have fat legs. You said, you said worse. I have fat legs. Yes, that was just He's like, yes, legs. you do. You have fat legs. Yes, that I do. Was just, that was like, you got beautiful legs. You know, I have fat it. legs. And, you know, I do. They, they well. I've never been like the type of girl that could like wear. And this is even when I was like, I used to dance. I used to be a dance teacher. I used to dance. Mm -hmm. And um, even when then I never wore like short shorts or anything like that. I wanted to, but my legs always had so much sight light. So. That's so beautiful. Thanks, Vic. Yes, sir. <laughs> as, our, as, our son, <laughs> as our son pops up. They're not, <laughs> see, they never leave us alone. <laughs> It's okay. The internet's not working. Daddy didn't pay the bill. No. Oh, okay. His, his, his computer's dying. Uh, plum plum three 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 said I have big legs too. Yeah, and it sucks. Big legs are beautiful. I don't want to have like I don't you know I, I I don't have to have like super perfect legs, but it's just like a lot of sight leg. I don't sense. really have a problem. With I feel uncomfortable with it. I think they're beautiful. Well, mm. thanks, but I'm just saying. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Max in the back with the oh. It's like oh. Had <laughs> the kids. Plum Plum says, "Oh, she said he said I love my legs though." Yes. He, he said, does. "Okay." You know, legs are beautiful things. Well, Plum Plum, I like being naked. Like I'm oh, naked. Okay. Oh yeah, bye, Max. No, I do though. I like you my. I, I'm kind of a nudist, so not you know necessarily here, but like you know, I like to be nude. In fact, I want to put up a big fence around my yard so I can walk around naked when the kids aren't here. <laughs> Right now, as it is, the neighbors are probably like, dang, girl. But I like that. It's fun, you know. Um, so, Plum Plum, you're being really graphic, and I can't read what you just said, but <laughs> because Max is here. Yeah, so, we, yeah, we can't get into detail. We got, we got children. We yeah. Got children in the area. Max, go sit up on the deck so we can finish up. Yeah, we're about to wrap this up anyway. Oh, got, my God. You got to go pick up some. I feel the mosquitoes already. Yes. So and they sprayed up. today. I'm telling you. I don't know what's going on. The guy had no mask on. And now they're all coming for me. How can that be possible? You don't have no skin so soft on. I have no skin so soft on. <laughs> Wait, I thought mom was getting Sasha. Yeah, mom is going to get Sasha. I'm not going to get Sasha. Yes, you are. I dropped her off. That was, that was a deal. I take her, you pick her up. I can't believe that I'm going to have to go get Sasha. Yeah. Plus, I've been drinking, so you know I can't drive. Oh, that's yeah, right. You're yeah, drinking. Yeah, yeah. Hi, DJ Proof. I haven't seen you in a long time. Proof, what up? I hope everything's well with you, you know? Yeah. Um, yes, I do love myself, though, Plum Plum. Thank you. And, I mean, the cellulite thing, that's more like I, out in public. I don't really want to wear short shorts and stuff. But I, I do do like myself, you know? Yeah. I mean, I do. I, I feel yourself. happy with myself. I do. You got to love yourself. Nobody I think does. that, you know what sucks about this whole situation is when you're young, you pick on yourself so much. Like, I remember being super muscular. Like, I was dancing, like, seven days a week, okay? So muscular. And as a teenager, my body, I felt like because I had a bigger build than a lot of girls I danced with, because they were very, very petite, I would, like, hate myself. And it's so sad because I look back at those old pictures, I'm like, dang. I was, like, ripped. Yeah. Get what I'm saying? So it's like, you should love yourself. And that's why I love, like, the fact that younger people now, they talk about this and communicate about it so much. Like, my daughter, Sasha, she writes whole essays and things online about the fact that, you know, she she wants women to feel good about themselves. And I think that's a wonderful thing because girls didn't really talk about that. They just talked about how much they didn't like themselves. <laughs> you know? Hi, Queen Candace 04. Loving every inch. I understand. Uh, DJ Seawiz once said, would you go to a nude beach? We Yeah. Yeah, we have. We've been. We've been. That's where we go in Jamaica. They have they have a resort, and we went. We've gone multi, like not this year, obviously, because the the. I don't really talk to anybody that though. He hasn't talked to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> I talk to everybody. I just look at the ocean. I just yeah. he's like I, this. I listen to the ocean. Watch. Listen okay. To, no. Listen okay. To... So first time we ever went together. <laughs> okay. Um, Max, can you go up on the deck? Yeah, go over there. Please. I'm going to bribe you. I'm going to get you some right V-Bucks for when I get paid. All right, go up there. I'm bribing. See? See what I have to do? Oh, to get rid of my kids? It's awful. Um, 
Yeah, right there. We're almost done. We're almost there. So the first time that we ever, ever went to the, the nude beach, and my kids know we go to the nude resort, so that there wasn't any surprise to Max. He's like, whatever. But um, the first time that we ever went, like, we went, you know, and I go and I walk um, up to the bar, because, like, at the place we go, you have to be naked. Like, there isn't, like, in, the, you can wear a towel or be naked. Okay, th this, those are two choices. And if you don't get naked, like, they'll kick you off the beach. So Vic puts, like, a whole towel around him and sits down. He puts headphones on. He puts his computer, his laptop, in front of him, okay, in front of him, and starts watching TV <laughs> at the nude beach. Me, I get up. I go to the bar. I play I play volleyball. Um, naked. I float <laughs> in the, on the water. I'm in the pool. I'm like I'm in the hot tub, and I'm like socializing. And there's now a group of people that always seem to go around the same time. So they're like our nudist friends, right? Yes. So I'm always the one that's like socializing. I'm walking around. It's no big deal that I'm naked. Vic literally is yeah. like so crazy yeah. and they'll say they'll say like Vic where's Vic like tell him to come over here or whatever and he's like nope he does not get out of his seat yeah. he won't use the bathroom yeah. like he sits in the seat at the nude beach and he doesn't move yeah I saw, like, even when they serve lunch because they have lunch at the, at the nude beach like a buffet I had to go get the food and bring it to him because of the fact that he won't he won't get out the chair yeah I'm not walking around you know it's it's something that you enjoyed so I'm I love it I'm willing to support we went, you. We've gone many times. I'm willing to support you on that. It's because so. it's something important to me. I yeah, like so. I like being naked. I consider myself a nudist. Yeah, so, you so. know, I was, you know, I bring what I need in order for me to get through, in order for you to feel comfortable. Right. Of, you know, so, but I just, you know, I, I, you know, I, just certain things are just not necessarily, you know, not necessarily the women, but, you know, it's just certain compensation that I feel like I can't have with, you know, with, with men on, on that side. Or being naked, yeah. yes. Because it's a lot. I mean, and, and yes, you know, it's, you it's know, a problem. I don't need to talk to you. Like the first that. time we ever we, we ever went, I was surprised how naked everyone was. Yeah, you know, I mean, totally. Like the men, there's like a lot of nakedness. And I was like, yeah. wow, I've never seen yeah, that I mean, many I mean, all in one space. Like it is, it's pretty shocking. Like yeah. it's, the, so meanwhile, now we're so accustomed to it. The last time we went, I was like on the nude beach. It was my birthday, and I'm just laying there, whatever. Vic had gone snorkeling with, um, you know, some uh, other people, you know, that, and they were not naked. They were, you know, yeah, well, I was snorkeling. I was snorkeling every day. Yeah, he was snorkeling. So he we're actually the had the boat pull up to the nude beach <laughs> where I was to like sing me happy birthday or whatever. That's how accustomed we are now to that lifestyle. But yeah, I miss it, and I I love going to the new beach. It's so fun. It's like really one of my favorite things to do. Yes, me too. I like. And then the other day, I was laying out here on the deck, and the way I was laying, like you you could lay like in the couch, so no one could see me. I was naked out here the other day. <laughs> I was. <laughs> no problem. That's why the neighbors love us. <laughs> love us or hate us. Like, yes, get it. <laughs> take it off, girl. It was like one in the yeah. afternoon. They're like, take it off, girl. Yeah, I see you. Right before I went to the station, I was like, let me get naked out here for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get my eagle on. I was just laying on the couch, like. But there's something about being naked in the sun that is like the most exhilarating feeling. It feels so good. It's so much better than wearing a bathing suit. Yes, I, I would see. never wear a bathing suit if I could. Yes. If I had a big fence around my yard, like if I could afford a big, huge fence, mm -hmm. I would be in my pool naked all the time. I want to be free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. That's it. It's fun. Yeah, really, so. Oh, I got to go get Sasha. All right. And plus, you know what? The mosquito. Oh, my God. The mosquitoes are here. <laughs> They're attacking me. <laughs> see? Just water. It was water. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll be back next Thursday at 7 o'clock. And in the meantime... Russell Simmons Styles, God bless, good night. <laughs> he does that every time. Can't you think of something better? I, I'll think of something better next week. Love one week. another and... Yes. Stay safe. <laughs> That's it. In these uncertain times. All right. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>